What's up guys, Chasing Laomi here with episode 153 of Welcome to Roxham. Today we round out our Champions League group stage with a game against Barcelona. So like, subscribe, ring the bell and let's go play them. So there's not much about what you've missed since last episode. We've just played Liverpool. We lost 1-0. It didn't go terribly well. And uh, I think we should just forget about it and move on. So let's uh, look at what we're doing today. We're by like, tenth in the league. That's what's important. But let's look at the starting lineup we've got today because I've uh, I've already got that one all set up. And we're not going full strength against Barcelona because we are already through. We're already qualified. So are Barcelona. So it's a bit of a dead match this one. But it gives us a chance to see what our youngsters can do in Europe. So we're going to start with Setford in goal, obviously not a youngster, but I didn't want to stick any of the 17-year-old goalkeepers in and terrify them. Uh, we've got Yusuf, Vieira, Bassene and Walters at the back. We've got Christiansen, York, Rotario, back, Burns and Teschel as the rest of the team. Obviously, I said I was going to put the youngsters in. We've, I mean, Christiansen's not really young anymore, but he's hardly played. Tim York, definitely a youngster, 18. Rotario, back, both young. Um, we've got Bassene, who's quite young. These guys, I mean, this is going to be Clint Yusuf's last game for the club because he's about to move to Villarreal on loan and probably permanently. And uh, yeah, just kind of a, a chance to rotate, I guess, to take some of the pressure off these guys who've played a lot of football. In fact, now I'm thinking about it, let's, uh, let's stick Gary Dillon up top just to save his legs. I thought I'd put Kieran Rogers in, but again, he's very young and uh, not really ready to be in the first team. So uh, we'll keep Burns on the left-hand side of the bench. We're going to have Garda, Garcia, Lati, Strecker, Moraes, uh, Grio, Caicedo, Gonzalez, Lolos, Rogers, Sayamri and Teshkel. Largely because a lot of the youngsters are not fully fit to be playing. Jermaine Reed's not good enough to be in this squad at all, but he's eligible, which is why he's showing up. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go and see what this team can do to Barcelona at the new camp. So in the dressing room, we're going to say nobody's expecting anything from, anything from us. Go play without pressure. You've got nothing to lose. That seems to have relaxed the boys. That's what we need to do. So I'm not expecting big performances there. I'd like us to be able to get a good result, although they're playing Kai Havertz and Ansu Fati and uh, Pedri. So maybe we've underestimated how I thought they'd probably stick out a week inside to rest some players as well. It's fine. Joe, you know, well, maybe apparently we've got Setford on the bench and on the pitch. Oh, no, that's, that's just how the graphic works. That's okay, I know what I'm doing, I'm just entertaining. Uh, <laughs> let's go with that. I'm entertaining for your benefit. We are here at Camp Nou and uh, it looks really good in the game. It's got to be said, it does look very nice in the game. But we are yeah, we're ready to go, we're all lined up. We're playing in our hot pink alternate kit. Barcelona playing in whatever the hell this is. I don't know if that's even close to the actual current Barca kit, but it doesn't look pretty. So... <laughs> We'll go with it. Anyway, we're kicked off. Let's get a win from our game against Barcelona. That's the plan. Free kick, Ferran to take it into the box. And Fafana with a header over the bar. Setford just watches it fly over his head. And uh, we've had a lucky escape from the first highlight. We'll hope it carries on. As Havertz puts the ball forward looking for Ansu Fati, who's picked up a knock and a yellow card. His day is going very well after 17 minutes. And Vieja picks his pocket, goes forward looking for Dylan. Can't find him. Schumacher forward to Fati, back to Schumacher. Back to Fatty and Richie though with the ball shot on goal and Samuel A. Richie has scored against us and well as I said I wasn't expecting huge things from this game I think I've probably been proved right to be honest but you know what we'll keep encouraging the boys we'll try and get them to just pick their chins up and keep going I, as long as we can keep it from being embarrassing I'll be quite happy I and mean, we are through as a seeded team to the or knockout stages so we've done okay but yeah we just uh so we need a rest for some of our players and this felt like a good chance to give it to them and get a chance to have a look at some of the younger players some of the alternate players we've got see what happens as Havertz picks up the ball for Barcelona again and hopefully he'll get shut down by Rule Waters he doesn't hopefully head her away there by Yusuf good stuff we're going to chase it down no Gary Dillon gave up when he was on his way to get in the ball Bove forward to Ansu Fatty into the box Fatty with a shot and it's 2-0. Referee is calling it back for offside, is he? Is it going to be VR offside? It is. Okay, good. We've got away with that, which is very, very nice for us. We'll uh, we'll take that as a victory and hope for the best. I say take it as a victory. It's only just offside. 
But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll see if we can keep ourselves in this game and fighting. Throw it now. Or free kick, sorry, for Barca. He's hidden behind the thing. That's really helpful. Uh, Fafara back to Hostench. Back to Fafana again. And we need to get ourselves on the ball quickly. Schumacher to Ansu Fati to Ricci to Habert. Habert is through. Can we get to this? No. <laughs> no is the answer. That's probably a legitimate 2-0. And... We're not holding on quite as well as I would have hoped. It's got to be said, the Barca players are celebrating in front of our fans, which is really nice of them. Charming. Cheers, boys. Uh, well, well, um, professionals. Good stuff. Let's, uh, let's, it's only tuna. We can turn this around. The baptism of fire was always going to be a thing for these players. Let's berate them, because why not? That sometimes fires them up a bit more and gets them to play. Doesn't look like it's done it this time. Free kick now, Bassene to take it for us, short to Walters, who will hopefully find a pass, back to Bassene, there we go, good stuff, pass forward, given away by Bassene, and now Havertz having a run, and uh, I knew Bassene wasn't necessarily the best ball-playing defender in the world, but I think he's just proved it, luckily, Ferran Torres is not necessarily the best in-the-box striker, apparently, so that's helped us out. So that's half-time, we're not really in the game yet, is uh, the highlight, or the... the Upshot of that. I, I'm going to say we need more possession. That's a good start, I think. And I'm going to tell all these guys on less than a 6.5 or anyone 6.5 or below, which is most of our players, to be honest, that they need to be putting more effort in, to be honest, because they are not doing well for us. Uh, I'm not happy with your performance tonight. That seems to have fired everyone up. Let's see if they go and play. To their potential rather than their ability in the second half and help us out maybe make us look a bit more like a professional football team corner habits to take it into the box and or cross the box fatty back to habits habits puts the ball in again fatty with a shot <sighs> wow we probably should have attempted some defending shouldn't we we did not do well with that, I think it's safe to say the fact they were able to play a 1-2 between the edge of the box and the corner flag is telling. And uh, yeah, that's um, that's going to be a defensive frailty we probably should work out. But it might be time to send in some, some of our better players just to try and get some respect back, I think, as Christiansen takes the throw into Kaminsky, back to Christiansen, and back, can't get in there to pick it up. Ricci on the ball now, edge of the box, probably going to have a pop, does have a pop, Setford can't get a hand to it. And I'm going to make some changes very shortly and get uh, get some fresh meat in there and hopefully get a better performance out. Throw in now. Hostench takes it to Fatty back to Hostench. I've sent all five subs on. Put Strecker and Rio on at centre half because that was necessary. Dylan's moved to the right hand side. Teshkel's come on for back. I've got Gonzalez and Caicedo in in the middle just to hopefully make something improve, to be honest, because that feels necessary as Gonzalez puts the ball forward to Teshkel and. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing now. How he didn't give it away. Grio puts the ball forward to Burns. Burns taking his time to Christensen now. Christensen with a chance on the ball now. Changing position to a box-to-box. -box. Teshkel in. Teshkel with a shot off the post. Another shot and puts it wide. Apparently we've got a corner because Schumacher threw his way in front, himself in front of the goal there. And Gary Dillon going to take the corner now. Can he create something? Looking for Teshkel. Can't find him. Christensen is there. Back to Dillon who may have been offside. He was offside. And, well... That was our first real chance of a good attack all game, and we've squandered it, quite frankly, and that probably sums up this performance. Throw in now with Walters. Hopefully we can get a consolation goal. It's the 92nd minute as Christensen plays it back to Walters, to Gonzalez, to Burns. Burns to Teshkel. Teshkel with a pop, and unfortunately no one home there, and uh, Strecker will get a chance to put it forward, but we're not going to see it. We're going to get straight to full time, it looks like. And, well, question marks, question marks about some of our players after that performance because they should have been, they should have been able to step up. I, yeah, let's do a we're not happy with your performance out there. That's a good shout. We're also going to have a little, uh, little talk to some of our players who have underwhelmed just because they need to know that that wasn't acceptable and uh, we have to let them know. So we'll, uh, we'll get, grab the ones who were playing particularly badly today I think that's all of them and we'll just point a little finger and say I'm not happy with your performance tonight and hopefully they'll do better next time out 
which won't be a Champions League game, I would think, because there's going to be some group staging this happening in there. We'll have a look in a second because uh, I need to know what's going on with that. So let's we have to go the long way around to do this. I need to know when that. No. God, we're going to come back for. No, let's not come back for the Bristol Rovers game. We should win the Bristol Rovers game easily. Let's not make it too easy on ourselves. Let's have a look at the schedule list view, of course, because otherwise it makes no sense. We are in the round of 16 now, so it's going to be down here. Round of 16 is March. Okay, good, good. Beginning of March is actually a good place to come back. So we'll keep it a surprise. We're not back on Monday because it's Christmas Day. You don't want to watch me, and I could use it at least one less episode to make next week so i'm gonna gonna take christmas day off or we're all gonna take christmas day off together we'll come back for whoever we draw in the round of 16 i'm gonna try and rest the players between now and then hopefully we'll uh, still be in the fa cup then and good things will be able to happen so for now i'm gonna wrap things up thank you for watching i have as always been chasing lately don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell all that good stuff down below and uh until next time guys stay safe and uh have a good one